Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Hi guys and welcome to today's vlog. So it is uh, the 28th. Happy birthday, Terry! So Danny's husband's birthday is today. Um, I had to go to Walmart. So I had to go and get some more. This, I get questions all the time on what I use, and this is what I use um, until I get a sublimation printer in that. This is just, I prefer this one. Um, I like it because you can put it on a shirt. I don't have one. But you can put it on a shirt. You really can't see any outline or background to it. Like if you have white on it, on a white shirt. Um, it just looks like the design. So, um, I have to figure out what's wrong with my printer and why it's doing it. I'm, I'm thinking ink. I'm thinking it, it's my, I just got crap cartridge of ink or something. The colors are off. Um, is that possible? I don't know. But every since I changed the ink cartridge all the colors are really dark like this was a I don't know if you can tell this color it's got I printed more in the back um, do I have that? yeah I do have them so this is the Scooby Doo that I do and these colors should be vibrant this should be lime green actually Shaggy's shirt should be lime green his pants should be a maroon and this right here should be red so it's printing out I mean it's not absolutely horrible but the colors it's not like that bright I even bright made the colors more bright um, in the design like really super super bright and tried to print it off and it still printed it off like awful like like see how many times I was printing so then I was seeing how other colors printed off so I was doing other ones and so I've been printing 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 trying to this is before um, the weekend and then I got to I had printed so many things that I ran out of paper so I had to get more paper and at um, Walmart they didn't have the normal paper that I buy that is like 348 or 398 or something so I had to get this one which was like six dollars I mean the for what I use it for I don't need no expensive paper but this is all they had and then I was like I'm not gonna run around and waste gas and just stuff for, save a couple dollars on some paper but guess what we ended up having to run around because I had to find this um, so we went to a different Walmart and they had it thankfully and Doritos. I had to get some Doritos because we're going to have sandwiches for lunch. And when I have sandwiches, I got to have Doritos. I got a tool order in. I ordered from BB Craft. It was order, it was when they had 15% off and order orders $70 and get free shipping. So I got a lime. I don't even know if I needed a lime. A purple a turquoise um I actually what did I, do? I actually needed <laughs> I needed I think lavender and aqua I have some I have one lavender and one aqua so I usually like to um keep a backup so I'm probably almost out in the bedroom so once I open up these I won't have a backup one so I like to keep a backup one I did order one of these just to put me over or at the $70 mark and green is a color that I need um, lime green I use it for like um, in my rainbow tutus I use it in Tiana and other ones um, before I get to that, I'll get to this. So then I ordered 
what I thought was, guys, purple satin ribbon. It's grow grain. I already have like two of these downstairs. I don't need two more. Um, I might figure out something. I might try to use them up and put them on like some Halloween tutus. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to try to get rid of them. Um, but it sucks that I wasted $20 on that. The price, I don't remember the price. So. Yeah, no, wrong invoice. I don't know where the invoice is. And then I got two turquoise. Um, so they price before the 15% off were $9.50. So these were $9.50, even the grow grain ones were $9.50. But see here, I guess, I guess the website might have messed up when I ordered, and that's why I'm not saying, oh, it's not my fault, but um, when I go to the website and I look for like ribbon, I usually click on satin ribbon, and then after I go to satin, I go to one and a half inch. Uh, 50 yard click on that tab and then it shows you all the ribbon and so when I saw purple I probably just got purple and it might have said Because on my invoice it says purple grow grain So it might have said purple grow grain, but was in the satin and I wasn't paying attention. So I Thought I was getting too purple you know, it's getting too um, Turquoise and then I got a lime and then a pink I like, I go to, like I said before, whoever, like if I'm ordering from BB Crafts and I need ribbon, I will, you know, just add ribbon. Um, if I specifically need, like, let's say hot pink ribbon, BB Crafts don't have it, I go somewhere else that might have it. Um, and then what I normally do is... If there's anything else that I'm low on or think I might need, I will add them in as well. So that's all of my order. And like I said, I tried to get seventy dollars up to seventy so I can get free shipping, and it was seventy four seventy eight. So I think um, did I really have to add that lime? Then I wonder. I don't know. I probably was once the once the discount is added so that's that. I'm just disappointed when you order the wrong thing um, I did order from gifts international as much as I don't like them I needed hot paint and baby crafts was out so I just ordered five of those and then the lavender ribbon I think I showed yesterday I gotta put it's a mess you guys gotta put all this stuff in. where are you guys going on a trip so yeah that's it. I did get a couple things of fabric at the second Walmart because they had a good fabric selection and there was some that I saw and I'm like oh I need it like I need more fabric but I am going to work on orders I ordered some shirts um, I gotta figure out what's for dinner I have a few recipes that I've had on my list for like probably three weeks now from when Tressa was here um, that I haven't made and one I needed fennel for when I finally found fennel. Um, I think it was, I don't even remember, I'll have to look what that recipe was. But yeah, so I have a headache too. Um, when I was at Danny's, I know why I have a headache. but. It's hormonal, TMI, right? But uh, when I was at Danny's, I woke up with a headache. And so when I woke up with a headache, I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And so she gave me like an Advil, like one of the gel, like really fast relief, relief, release. Um, so I looked for those, cause it worked. It worked like really good. Um, it did come back later on, you know, that kind of like, where you're teetering on the edge, you can still kind of feel a little bit of your headache, but it's not like there. Um, 
I got that way towards the end of the night, but you know. So then this morning I woke up and I could feel it. And so I'm like, oh. so I went, when we went to Walmart, I got the Advil, um, the gel Advil. So I just took one of those a little bit ago. I still feel my headache. But I'm going to try to get some work done. I got to figure out this printer. Might try to do that a little bit and then go downstairs. Welcome to the vlog. Not me. I got the pancake roll up. So it's got eggs and bacon in there. And <laughs> oh. Watch your face, do 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 do. Hey guys, so we just ate and we're at the chicken chicken feed at the feed store. So we was getting some. I gotta get dog food. With this, where we buy our dog food, we get the builder dog food. Um, so we got dog food and two laying mash chicken feeds and one goat feed. Um, I just opened up the second bag of goat food. So they're pretty good, but I like to keep them stocked. And then I usually buy two chickens at a time, two chickens. And it usually lasts two weeks. So, so about a bag a week. Hey guys, so we went and got our food. It's actually still, I left it in the back of the van cause it's raining, but I was cleaning out this closet if you ever wonder what's in this closet <laughs> behind me um, I have a bunch of wings from when I did fairies so I'm trying to get some of them out and I wish I found someone local that would just take all of them there's like 80 or more sets of wings I'd really like to get rid of and then I do got like a bunch of scrapbook paper from when I was into scrapbooking I would like to get rid of um, these are just different I think they're full of uh, different things I wanted to scrapbook I think little things that I saved from different I don't know for sure um, like this I don't need this was just a roll of this ribbon it's like um, floral like you do it with floral or gift wrapping my battery's gonna die let me change that okay so anyway I have a lot of stuff these were like my absolute favorite books that I, these are the two I never parted with they're by Wally Lamb. Honestly, I can't. I don't remember. I kind of remember it, but I, you know what I mean? I read this one twice. If I sit and think about it, I know it's about a girl. I know she's bigger. <sighs> I have no idea what's... Oh, there's Evan, you guys. Look how cute. Honestly, I have no idea what's in here. What is this? A bag of something. What? Oh, it's all Disney from one of the times we went to Disney. Um, so I have different boxes full of like keepsake and I used to be heavily before I ever did any embroidery or tutu making or that. I was very crafty and did a lot of scrapbooking. So these are all scrapbooks up here. I scrapbooked everything. This is just an extra... Um, I used to sell a fairy dress that was like the Rio from the Rio movie. Um, and I used to forever spend so much money um, on this boa, looking for this boa at Hobby Lobby this particular color and then I would line the blue wings with it and it would be like real wings it'd be like a fairy but in real oh my gosh is that a spider that is like a dead spider oh, scary you're just going to take your little carcass chunk did you hear it hit the ground no he stuck I guess it's like stuck stuck Ew, so disgusting. So anyway, yeah, this closet is just full. My husband had put in these shelves for me when I was scrapbooking to put on my scrapbooks, so. Um, 
yeah, this is loaded with scrapbooks there, too. It'd be fun. I should have got them out when Tress was here. I'm sure she's in some of them. <laughs> and then I just have random things that I... I'm like, oh, I'll move this out of the way. Don't need it. There is a lot of the feather boa when I was looking for boa. But since I no longer make them, you know, I can't guess I kind of held on to things thinking, oh, I might, might get a request for another one. For some reason, I have some treat lunch bags. These would be good for birthday parties to put. Ten treat lunch bags. Oh, there are some... Sterling was heavily into the Muppets. So these were her Valentine cards for one year. And then I got... I think I ended up buying a couple of these um, Star Wars um, cards. Christmas cards. And it's like you for... Oh, wait. For... Mary Smith. What does it say? For the last time I get to put the Death Star on the top of the tree or something like that. And it says Mary Sismith. Sith Mess. So anyway, I had I think I had bought like two or three packs of these ones. So I just put these ones away because I was like, um, everybody don't need one of these ones. <laughs> But yeah, this thing is just full. A lot of it's just scrapbooking stuff, but I'm trying to get rid of some stuff. Here is a, a note. I think Sterling was writing Star Wars. So it's S-T-A-R-W-A-R-S. Things like that. I'm like, gotta keep them. But yeah, it's a mess in here. I'm pulling stuff out. This is my messy area. So I'm going to try to get... I'm trying to... It's like you have stuff and you know you want to get rid of it. But going through the motion of getting it all listed, pulling it out, taking pictures, shipping it, all that stuff. It's more than you want to... More than you want to deal with. Like if I had, cause there's like 80 sets of wings in here. Some of them I probably paid a lot of money for. Cause there were some in here that were 10. I probably didn't pay $10 for them. But when they first came out, the candy corn ones, I remember they were, I don't know, 40% off or something like that. And so I paid you know, probably $6 for the wings I bought. A few sets of them. My idea was to do a candy corn. There you go. Um, to do a candy corn fairy, which I'm probably, I probably did, or maybe I, if I have the picture, I'll insert it here. But, but I just remember Sterling being in a candy corn um, corset top with the tutu and the wings and that thing, and then. Our friend Leanne had, um, she did a lot of painting at the time, and she had painted her little shoes with candy corns on them. So, I am cleaning out in there. See this little tutu? There's nothing wrong with this. I don't know what size it is. It was just, I think it was in a bag, and I had ran out of the little bags that I shipped my tutus in, so... They're just in there. The red, white, and blue. Yeah. yeah, so I have a lot of stuff I need to just get rid of. So right now, I'm just, I was mainly, I was just trying to put some stuff. I was like, hey, maybe I can put some stuff in this closet. <laughs> There's no room in that closet, silly. Silly goose. I'm going to spend at least a couple hours up here doing this, and then I'll go downstairs. I think I'm going to make some bean soup for dinner. Um, i got to finish the tutu that goes with this one and the hair bow. i got to make a couple hair bows, actually. 
So I think I'll finish up here, just try to get things put away as much as I can, and then work on a few hair bows and tutus while I'm upstairs, and then go downstairs. I still, I would love to go through and clean downstairs and get organized. I want to organize my fabric because right now I just have two big totes. One tote is like my scrap tote that when I use fabrics I just lay it in there and then when I go back to make another design I go through what I have already put um, heat and bond light on and you know dig from there. And then if I don't have to find it in there, then I go ahead and do another piece with heat and bond on it. So anyway, and oh, I finished Journeys. I didn't, I'm not happy with it, so I'm going to probably make another one. And that's, that's the beauty of it. I can do that. Um, so I'll probably just uh, take a picture of this one and list this as a sample. Um. I know I'm, I said I'm trying to stay away from licensed characters, but my daughter loves Scooby-Doo, if you don't know. Journey is obsessed with Scooby-Doo, so I might just call it Doggy-Doo or, <laughs> that doesn't sound right, Doggy-Doo. Um, I don't know. I might just call it Scooby, and I don't know, but she's obsessed, so I made her, I was with Danny when I picked up this fabric. So maybe if I would have outlined it in blue, but I wanted to add in the lime. It goes wonderful. Hey guys. So it is 1.54 a.m. And I was editing vlogs. But I did work on some orders. Um, I made a ribbon trim. And then I finished two shirts. One shirt is just... um. I'm sending to a, a, a customer had ordered a shirt and it got delivered at somebody else's somewhere else I don't know where um, she lives in this in one town and it got delivered like maybe an hour or so from her I don't know I googled it my hair's all funky but um but it's showing it's delivered in Lancaster or something and she don't live there I don't know you know I don't know. I could just say, well, sorry, it's your luck. <laughs> but I'm not that way. Um, so I went ahead and I remade it and I'm shipping it again, which it just kind of sucks because, you know, I have to spend my time and my money on remaking it just because the post office didn't follow through and messed up. And um, But yeah, I made bean soup for dinner, which was really good. Um... And I FaceTimed Tressa for a long time and worked on um, a tutu, a regular. Actually, I made two tutus and then um, a few hair bows. It's just, you know, company while I work. Um, but I have a lot of orders I need to get done. But I just, I wanted to get these tutus done. And I needed, I know I needed to get this ribbon trim done because it was a rush order. And I didn't want to work on anything else other than that. Um, I did get, although you can't really tell, um, there was a lot more tool bolts over here. And I got them put away in that closet for right now on top of all the wings. Um, but And I did clean this up. It did look, it did look way better. <laughs> but I've been working, so... Um, Maybe I'll spiffy it all up tomorrow and show you. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've just been working. My new machine is working out great. I'm gonna get a lot of questions about that and I haven't had any issues other than occasionally, which I told my husband this is the same with the other, the Melco Bravo, um, certain designs that you try to stitch out, like you'll have constant thread breaks I don't know if it's like the designs itself or I just I just think the machines are are moody and <laughs> some days they're like nope I'm not gonna do it um I was checking out some of the vlogs videos that I took with Danny I miss her you guys <laughs> oh it's so fun it's so fun Danny's so fun she's just 
she's an amazing person and so is Terry her husband they are both really they're just great anyway um, I can't wait to see them again and I can't wait to see my friend Tressa again we are already talking about having her come back in like December for like two weeks hopefully um, I think it would just be fun it's like like when you have a friend like you don't really have to do anything you could just sit there and like watch TV together or you know just as long as you're near each other you're good that's 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 kind of friend that both Tressa and Danny is like you know you don't really have to be doing anything but you're having a good time you know what I mean um because I was looking at these vlogs and like there's like because I'm going back and watching like the clips that I took and I knew what happened in between the t clips that I took I'm like man I didn't vlog that or you know like I was watching one and it's like we ate dinner and then after that um it kind of I think the next clip was the next morning so after that you know we got ready for bed and then um Danny we were watching the hockey game or whatever and I, I don't like hockey y'all <laughs> but is that my hair I guess it is my hair but it was just fun because I was with them so you know it didn't matter that you know it was just it was just good company let's just put it that way um anyway so yeah hopefully my friend Tressa can come back because Sterling even facetimes her like <laughs> as well and it's just cute right now Sterling's got Alyssa spending the night with her um I'm gonna go put these stuff what I've been doing is I've been putting my packages out on the front porch at night before I go to bed. Um, we have a box out there and it just saves me from having to do it in the morning because sometimes he comes by early. He used to be like come by at 10, between 10 and 10.30, but now sometimes it's like 9, sometimes it's a little bit before 9. So um, I like to make sure I have them out just in case I forget or oversleep or don't want to get my butt out of bed. But I'm going to head to bed now. And yeah. And I got to go to Tractor Supply. Um, I got to get some chick starter. Because we should be having babies like Friday. Baby chicks. So I got to go get chicken starter. And I'm probably going to get them new chicken feeders. Um, for the babies. And I have to figure out what I'm going to do with them. Because I got to separate them from the other chickens otherwise the other chickens will peck on them my neck is sore so I'm rubbing it um, but yeah anyway I thank so much for watching you guys I will see you guys tomorrow bye